Hey YouTube, it's Aisha. Wanted to do a video. Um, this video is of a share. That's what I'll call it. I won't call it a haul. I'm currently restricted from hauls um, since I've gone on my spending freeze as of March 1st. Um, so all of the purchases that I'm going to share with you are purchases that I made before the 1st of March that are either just now arriving today or that I've been holding off on sharing with you guys until I received everything. So right now it still kind of feels like I've been shopping, but I really haven't. So I get the surprise of the goodies and everything, but that's going to quickly wear off as it's only the 5th of the month and I have another uh, 25, well, how many days are this month? 25, 26 days with no shopping. And already I am just like, oh, oh, hang in there, Aisha. So I'm trying to hang in. Um, what you are seeing right now is the reason why um, I am pretty much home. I did have a headache this morning, but I could have gone to work a little bit later. But look at this. Um, and it's still coming down. So this is from, uh, this is the bedroom window. And you see some of my crafting stuff in the window sill here. That's kind of where I have like all of my stuff you probably can't see that that's my printer and then down below there you see my cameo on my Cricut so just a little makeshift space I've made for myself but yeah look at that snow and I just came in um, I had to go to FedEx to pick up a couple packages that they couldn't deliver and to the post office and this car almost hit me now, I told myself I didn't want to be out in this weather because I know how to drive. It's the people around me that don't know how to drive. And sure enough, car almost hit me. And so, of course, after that, I had a complete attitude. And I kept me mugging him every time he rode past me because he was trying to outspeed me. And I was going maybe 30, 35 miles an hour. But seriously, dude, where are you trying to go in this mess? So, yeah, I know he felt really stupid after he almost swerved and hit me but I maneuvered got out of the way and uh, kept on about my jolly way going the same speed limit I was going before so alright so enough with the snow alright so let's go on over to my desk alright so let's start first with uh, who is this Magnolia Licious uh, Magnolia Licious is a website that I found that is also ScorePal. And I went there originally looking for score tape. But then when I saw, no, I take that back. I actually went looking for Magnolia stamps. I typed in Magnolia in Google and this is what came up. And then I saw that they were part of ScorePal. And every place that I'd been looking at for score tape um, was either higher than what I wanted to pay. Because Uzak is where I usually get it from and they were sold out. And so I found it on this Magnolia Licious website too for pretty cheap. So what I got here, and these stamps are minis. They're really small. I wish I'd known they were this small because I probably wouldn't have been okay with paying five bucks for them. But this is a tilde and this one is the which one is this? Let's see here. I think this one is the shoot Tilda with love music. No, this is the Tilda with flowing hair, and it was four ninety nine. Then I have the eggs, some Easter eggs, four ninety nine. These are unmounted as well, so I'm gonna have to probably check a couple websites to find out how to mount them. I'm thinking I know how, but I just don't want to be sure. Um, this is a floral background. I was kind of thinking about doing a scene card for Easter, and that's what gave me the idea of these. But to create a scene, I'm already at $20, so I don't know if I would have bought these if I would have realized they were this small. Um, and this was $4.99. This is the Bunny Tilda, another mini, $4.99. This is the Gate, and it was $4.99. This is the Magic Potion Tilda, or the, no, Tilda with Love Potion. It was 11 
Again, I think I've seen people buy it for cheaper, so I probably won't be ordering again from here unless they have a sale. Um, although she did email me, which I thought was really, I love customer service. I love great customer service. And she emailed me, you know, asking me had I heard about the website, she thanked for me for her order. And I sent her an email back letting her know that I just Googled her and found her. And she responded immediately right away and said, well, just so that you know, we gave you a $5 credit. It's in your, um, it's a store credit. It's on your account. Use it whenever you like. So for that reason, I may order again just because I love, love, love great customer service. All right, so this one is the Tilda with Love Music, and this was $11.99. And then the score tapes that I got were just the quarter inch. And the score tape there was $4.50. All right, so that is Magnolia Licious. Next I have... Joann's um, Enchanted Steph had uh, did a video on some stamp hauls that she did and she said Joann's had a sale and so I went and I got a couple things and uh, let's see here I have the uh, what is this the little devil Marcy and of course they don't put the prices on here. I think they were like five dollars. I want to say for sure. Either five or six dollars. No more than six. This is the Flying Witch Marcy. By the way, Joanne um, has the slowest shipping ever in life. So I ordered this on February 26. Um, they shipped it out maybe on the first or second of March. It was something ridiculous like that. Like almost four or five days later. And then, of course, I got it today. And then, let's see here, Angel Marcy. Christmas Lantern Marcy. New Year Marcy. Christmas Elf Marcy. So, as you can see, it's a lot of holiday car, uh, stamps, which you could use at any time. Or come Christmas. Bath time, Marcy. I've been eyeballing this one for a minute. I think it's so cute. Um, then I got another Magnolia stamp. This one is the Tilda with a ribbon heart scarf. And um, I want to say this one was maybe $5 or $6. So this I can see paying $5 for. Not those itty bitty minis. All right, and then I have this uh, You Shine by My Favorite Things, and I want to say this was like 4 or $5, too. None of the stamps that I got were over $6 from Joann's. Uh-oh, you okay? Uh-oh, hold on. All right, so Cortland is okay. You okay? Say hi. Look, you okay? Are oh, you choking on your juice? Say hello. Say hi, YouTube. No? You don't want to say hi today? Okay. We're still in pajamas. Yeah, it's a snow day for real. Although we were outside. <laughs> Alright, so what else do I have? Okay, so that's all of Joann's. Um, this was a Blick order. And from Blick, I ordered some Copics. It's the Copics that I thought were, or I'd seen other videos of people who said that they were kind of essentials. And so I ordered them. And if you can see this, this, um, they were, oh my god, this camera won't focus. There we go. Yes, that's awesome. $5.24 each. And I got... Uh, let's see here. How many? Oh, just showing all you my address. No matter that I covered it up on the other sheets. It is right there. Okay, so maybe it doesn't tell me total. Okay, so here are all of the colors that I got. So as you can see, it's a lot of browns. It's uh, most of the browns that were not in the 
B set that I have here. So, and a couple reds to help with hair, and then a couple of other skin tones, um, like that E triple zero there that I didn't have, and then a black that 100 there. Uh, so let's see here. And then I ordered from them um, the glitter set B. So that's that. And for the glitter, they were $23.79. And then I just got a swatch book. So this way when I go into the stores, I can keep this in my purse and I can see what all I already have and then I can buy what I need. So that's what that swatch book looks like for those of you who may not have already seen it. All right, moseying on along from Uzak. I made the biggest mistake, I think. I don't know. I'm going to open this pack of paper and see what weight it is. But I thought I was open, uh, ordering the Expressit Copic paper. But obviously not. This is a marker pad. Bleed proof marker pad. So I don't know how it will work with doing cards. Um, I assume maybe it will be okay. Because if it's bleed proof, I can always cut it out. Fussy cut it. Or layer it on top of my cardstock. So it's 50 sheets and it says 70 grams, which of course I didn't do my math to see what that equates to in pounds. And um, yeah, um, how much is this paper? This paper was $18.65. So yeah, $18 for some paper that I don't even know if I can use. So, huh. Alright, so the last ink in my Hero Arts collection that I was missing. And then the remaining of the distress markers for my Tim Holtz distress markers that I have here. These are the last of the collection. So I've got every all of those. Now, um, I didn't know if I wanted to show you this or not, but I'll show you real quick. I've already started using it, but I wanted to show you the stamp set. So this is the Simon Says Stamp Monthly Card Kit. And in the card kit, you get a stamp set, which these stamp sets alone are about $14.99. And I thought it was really awesome. As you can see, I've already played with it. And this is what I made with it. It's actually me kind of replicating a card that I've seen one of the uh, design team members from stamp, Simon Says Stamp did. And I think it came out pretty nice. I love that the font on that sentiment so very much. Um, so that's that. Um, the stamp. And then you get like 18 sheets of these designer paper. And um, I think these are Lily Bees this time. I'm not sure. Maybe Lawn Fawn. Because uh, everything else in here is Lawn Fawn. This sticker set is Lawn Fawn. Washi tape. These little Tim Holtz uh, clips, some um, bags here, which I think are super, super cute. And they always, always, always put a little sucker in the box. I think that is so sweet. Um, and then to give you a little inspiration page, Christina Warner, she is the designer, one of the designers for Sam and Seth Stamp. And this is all of the cards that she made using the kit. And then they give you a couple card stocks. I think it's like eight or six card stocks. Oh, and then these straws. These straws are super cute. So if you look at this inspiration sheet here, she used the um, straw, which is really cute. Here she used the straw. So a lot of things that you didn't, I wouldn't have thought to do with this, you can do. You can put on a card. So that's pretty awesome. So those are my hauls, no, my shares, <laughs> and um, I don't have anything else coming, that sucks, oh, I'll show you these goodies I got, these are real, real goodies, so as I was going to FedEx to get my packages, oh, those are stamps, I stopped at Albanese and got candy, 
These are court ones. You know she's not going to eat all of these at once. But these are my hush and be quiet while mommy finishes this card candy. <laughs> and what is this? I didn't see this. Ooh, chocolate. Chocolate. Chocolate, Corlin. <laughs> all right, so thanks for watching, guys. Sorry it's so long. Have a great day. Bye.